All right, unicorns. So I'm going to walk you through the um, basically how to execute this whiteboard challenge uh, with the framework that I created. Um, so uh, I'm going to try to keep this video kind of short, but if it gets longer, it just gets longer. You know how things go. It's because I might be, I mean, I might be doing some some explaining in between or kind of walking you through um, why I do certain things in a situation. And so. Like I said before, when you come to these whiteboard challenges, you're going to be met with um, a few people in there. You might have a few designers. You might have a researcher in there. You might also might have like the the design manager or the pro head of product in there. It just depends on the size of the company, right? And so those people are basically there to be your um, be your stakeholders, to be your users, to be whatever you want. You just have to kind of like explain to them, this is what I want. This is who you need to be. So, um, so let's say we have we have Rebecca and we have Johnny in the interview, right, with us. And they're giving us the prompt. And, you know, we want to be able to engage them into the conversation and have them really be a part of this because you want to try to treat this like a workshop. So with that in mind, like don't treat it like they're like you don't don't wait for them to give you stuff like you're you're this is your watch your workshop you're asking them questions so do you need to like get information out of them they're going to give you some info and some info might be vague on purpose just to see where what type of assumptions you want to do you don't really want to base your whole project on assumptions you want to get some sort of concrete data from the particular people in the interview the the, the particular people that are acting as your stakeholders or users or whatever. So um, we're going to jump on the computer and I'm going to show you how this framework would work and how I actually did it um, when I did this. And so um, as we look here, this is this is sort of the, the framework and template, right? So we got the, the title up top. We have task, problem, user, user needs such pain points, product needs, uh, constraints and limitations. We have goals down here. And also I have assumptions for each one of these sections. So just in case I get some um, sort of vague ideas or vague responses, I'm gonna make my own assumptions and then I'm going to validate, this, validate those assumptions with the people in the room. I'm like, hey, can we assume that X, Y, Z? And they're gonna be like, yeah. And if they don't, they don't agree with that assumption, I'll change it. And then at the bottom, we have ideas. Um, these ideas be mapped on the uh, prioritized ideas section and impact and effort. And then once I take that idea, I, I figure out which one I want to do. I put it into sort of a, like a task flow for the user. And then I'm going to do some wireframes. Um, typically with this particular framework, I do not recommend that you, um, when you show up to the interview, that you have these um, built in <laughs> screens. I only put these in here to try to, to sort of represent like what a wireframe uh, structure would look like. But typically, uh, you would probably remove these. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take these out for the sake of this exercise. And uh, this is just a copy of this whole 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 um, framework, so um, you will not be affected um, with that. So the reason why the reason why I took those out because um, we don't want to assume that it's always going to be a mobile app. We don't always want to assume that it's going to be something on the phone. And so I took those out to. Uh, just in case it's it's a desktop app or web application or kiosk or whatever, we don't want to go into the super super prep. Like we 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 want to make sure that we're organized and we're we're concise in our in our movements, but we don't want to like have visual treatments already in there. So I just recommend taking those parts out. And then and lastly, we're going to measure the success of it. So let's go ahead and do this. I haven't done this in a while, so um. This might be a little uh, fumbly bumbly, but you know, we're going to get through it. But overall, I'm, I'm going to try to do the best I can. And so we're going to get our prompt from our, and also this is kind of hard because it's just me doing it. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to play like eight people <laughs> at this point. And I'm going to be this person, this person, this person. So we're going to, we're going to figure this out. All right. So here's, here's the prompt. And this is what you want to do. When you get that prompt, you're going to be like typing that jam out. So that's just remember that. So, um, Here's a prompt, Eric. <laughs> All right, thanks, John. Uh, nowadays, more people are working from home more than ever. You're gonna, you're gonna put like, okay. Um, now people working from home 
right? I'm not, I'm look, uh, I'm also not going to be the best speller either. This 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 makes you this let you know because um I'm not really worried about my spelling on this. I'm really just worried about getting my ideas out and proper, properly executing uh, this particular task. One, because I am a horrible speller. And when I did this whiteboard challenge, um, my horrible spelling shined and I still got the job. So don't worry about uh, spelling, capitalization and whatever, because you, you can really get hung up on that and take a lot of time. So don't even worry about the spelling. Um, don't worry about my spelling. My spelling is going to be awful. Just FYI. Eric Abram cannot spell. Your boy can't spell. But anyways, um, back to this. So people work from home. So I'm gonna put people work from home. So as they're as they're going through this, I'm I'm writing this out. So this is this is this this is the this is the dilemma we have with um, being eight people. All right. So uh, nowadays, more and more people are working from home more than ever. Uh, studies have shown. That 53% of Americans have found their mental health uh, negatively, negatively impacted. So I'm like, oh, 53. So that sounds important to me. So 53% of Americans. So now I can assume that this audience is an American audience. So that kind of narrows it down to 350 million people, <laughs> right? All right. So uh, not the whole world. Okay. And um, and so based off that, and ha- found their mental health neg- neg- negatively impacted because of this. So here is the core of the task. All that stuff is the the outline and what what is what's kind of explaining. And here is the meat and potatoes. We want to build an app. Okay, I hear that. Build an app. This video is brought to you by springboard hey guys if you have ever been wanting to make the transition from being a des- graphic designer teacher i don't know truck driver whatever to being a ux designer you gotta try springboard you just have to try it i did springboard that's how i got my start that's how i made the transition that's how i got things done that's how i got my first job was i took what i took the projects that i did in springboard put it on my portfolio submitted that and then I got a job interview. I'm not saying it's easy like that, but that's kind of how it happened for me. So if you guys are looking to make a career change and you want to switch over to user experience, data analytics, whatever the heck you want to do, Springboard has it for you. Springboard is pretty cool. They offer a a mentor on a one-on-one, so you get to meet with a mentor uh, once a week, which is pretty cool. I'm also a mentor at Springboard, so if you sign up, you might get me, who knows? Also, they offer a job guarantee, which is pretty cool, meaning that if you don't get a job, you know, six months after you get your certification or after you graduate, they will give your tuition back, they will give all that back, which is pretty cool. Also, because you are an Ugly Unicorns listener, you will get a thousand dollars off your course when you use my coupon code at checkout. It is Ugly Unicorns SB1000. That is U G L Y U N I C O R N S S B1000. Yes, because you are Ugly Unicorns listener, you get a thousand dollars off your course. So go be a UX unicorn, go be an Ugly Unicorn, and sign up with Springboard. I see you there. I said, and so I know, I know that one building an app. Yep. We want to build an app that will let people who work from home join a group and socialize. Okay. So I, what I heard in there was build an app, join, join a group. Oh my God. <laughs> well, your boy can't spell. I'm about to copy and paste this, bro. Yeah. G R O U P group in social. S O C I Z and socialize. So uh, once again, spelling is the worst. I'm gonna just gonna, let me just come over here and copy this because uh, I need to put something. Like I said before, I just feel it right. Anyways, um, socialize in person. So that's this. This is what I kind of heard. So basically, um, I would want to write this down as the task, like. We want to build an app that will let people who work from home socialize. So I so I already heard that um, these are people who work from home. They're American. It's only 53% of them. So that's probably uh, like 150 million people. So I got to narrow that down. And they, uh, we want to build an app that will let them join, join a group and socialize. So therefore, we need to build an app that, but we also don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And really think about the idea 
because uh, we got to get through the whole thing of like really breaking down this whole problem. So don't get hung up on ideas, but have in mind what you have in mind a few things that you want to do, not just one idea. Okay, so 50. So this is where I would go in and clarify and make sure that I, I wrote down the right thing. So, so the task is, you know, 53%. So the task is we want to build an app that will, uh, that will let people who work from home join a group and socialize in person. Like, okay, great. So I wrote down that task and I'll make sure I remember to come back to that because this is what it was. And also remember, um, so before this whole song and dance even starts, they're going to give you this whole prompt idea. They're going to give you everything that you need to do. And basically, um, they're going to frame this up for you. And this is what they will, this is what they would want to do from, from the beginning before we even get into this whole thing to start doing the task. So like, like I said before in the, in the, in the last video, they will frame it up like this. Like we want to whiteboard our mobile app together at the end of the hour. We want to have something that we can bring to developers and walk them through, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to get that jargon first. And you also need to write that down too. It's like, Oh, that's something else to remember is, you know, walk through with devs so that's something that you have to remember that because that's that's a part of the prompt so just make sure you write that down too and then um and then for this particular part you might get um a few goals right so that might so that might give you like you know some of the goals that we want to do are and this is not necessarily the overall arching goal of the app this is just goals and a task that you want to that we want to actually get complete and so what from that I would put like, okay, work with Daz. And and then they're say like, and some of the goals we want to have achieved what basically is this is what we want to be in the app. So remember that. So goals doesn't translate to overall goals um, of the application. These are just goals that basically uh features that we want to have in our app or things that are tasks that we want users to do. So I would put you know, work with devs. And then I will also put here as well, hit it enter. If they say like, Hey, you know, some of the goals that we want to have with this particular app is, you know, we want our users to be able to search for a group search. So I'll write that down, search for a group. And remember, write this all down, man. Do not, um, do this in your head and try to remember. And also, um, talk out loud. Even when you're writing it might, it might sound dumb. It might feel dumb, but at the same time, um, what if you had to do this project in person? You know what I'm saying? So and you're actually doing it on an actual whiteboard. So this is different. So digitally, we can see you what you're writing. So uh, we still we still want to uh, hear you hear your thoughts out loud. Okay, join a group. Uh, search for a group, and I put join a group. I cannot spell group to save my life, and I just spelled it up there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I can't spell joint either. But anyway, like I said before, don't get hung up on that. I'm just doing this because of the video. I join a group. Uh, get notified um, when a group. Oh my God, it's group again. Group is meeting. Okay, please forgive my spelling. Me Um, And also, we want to tip uh, slash uh, pay or donate the group that spell right nope <laughs> group. i also can't type for shit either the group host so see so these are some of the things that um we've heard this is some of the tasks that we have here so therefore i will go and clarify again and just say like hey um this for the task is you know we want to build a mobile app that allow people to socialize in person um we definitely want to have this uh application be something we can walk through with devs and i'll also say you know we want people to be able to search for a group join a group get notified when a group is meeting and also tip slash pay the host and they'll be like yes that is it i'm like okay great that's fantastic and then I would start going into you know my user research because you can't have user experience without users right so that's something i'm going to be doing now so with that is remember remember the setup i said in the last video was um make sure if you have two screens if you don't have two screens have some place where you can have these questions um somewhere where you can kind of see them all right so this is what i would do 
I would have my questions over here and I would just go through them per section. Okay, here's the problem. I'm like, well, why is this product important? Well, they would probably say something like, well, the product is important because we want to help people with their mental health. Okay, we want to help people with um, their mental health. Then I would ask, well, why is that important, right? Help people with their mental, with their mental health. Then I would just be like, you know, well, well, why is that important? You know what I'm saying? And I would say something because people need to be in. They probably just say something like, you know, as as pe as humans, we um strive and survive better when we inter act interact with people in person so as they're as the so as they're saying this to me i'm repeating it back to them letting them know that i got it i understand it i received it and i'm also writing it down because it's important right then i'm gonna say like Okay, then, you know, what problem are we actually trying to solve with this particular app, you know? So the problem we're trying to solve is, you know, we want to, the problem we're trying to solve is we're trying to better, better the minds of people mentally and help them get back out there and meet new people so they can form um, relationships, forgive my spelling, so they can form relationships and possible friendships. Okay, great. So, um, so how does this product benefit the user, right? Because the reason why we ask this question is because um, you might get a bunch of you might get a bunch of business facing types of solutions like, hey, why are we trying to solve this problem? You know, it might be based on the business. And why is this product important? It might be based on the business. They might because I'm a user experience designer. I'm always thinking about the user. So that's probably why my answers came out to be that way. But um, you might get a bunch of business related questions. And so you always want to be able to ask a question for the user. How does this product benefit? The actual user. I know we're making an app, etc. But like, why can't they just go out and you know hit up their friends on Facebook and have a meet and greet that way? Well, you wouldn't say that yet, but <laughs> that is an actual possible solution. So don't even say that yet. But uh, how does this product benefit the user? And they would say, well, this product will benefit the user by providing them with a a source. A resource, hold on, a resource tool to help them meet new people, people in, in their community, whatever. Okay, great. Okay. All right. We got that. Then I'll kind of ask like, okay, well, what is the goal of this particular application? Is it, you know, just to get people on the platform? Is it to, uh, just trying to figure out like, what's the overall goal? Is it, is it sales? What, what, what type of goal are we looking for? Um, our goal for this app is to really set adoption and really um, want to um, help people gain partnerships etc etc whatever the hell that is this is the problem being eight people all right <laughs>